hi again my name is rebel and i'm the rebel reseller and today i'm going to be doing my what sold video for last weekend friday through sunday april 19th through the 21st sales have still been consistent which i can't complain um i'm just going to keep doing what i'm doing fingers crossed you know that it just keeps getting better and better and better especially after a weekend of sourcing like we had this weekend y'all you know it's a good weekend when you run out of money and that's what happened to us and i was tempted i was tempted to go get more money and go back to a particular yard sale and buy more stuff and it was clothes y'all we bought so many nice pieces of clothing this weekend at like three yard sales re um tons and tons I don't know if I've mentioned this before. We bought a mannequin recently. Well, actually a male and a female mannequin recently. And because these clothes are kind of nice, you know, nicer brands, you know, uh, J. Jill and some of the other brands that we don't find a whole lot of here. Um, a lot of Ralph, what is it? Lauren, Ralph Lauren. Um, I might pull the mannequins over here and try to figure out a way to take pictures using um the mannequins especially on the dresses and stuff so it's just gonna be an interesting change for us but yeah it was a ton ton of clothes i did find some stuff not a whole lot of plush though I i'm looking forward to our trip at the end of next month just to go to the bins and get a plush fix because i'm not finding a whole lot i mean i'm finding vintage toys at estate sales but for the most part, not too much plush right now. So, but yes, it was an amazing, amazing weekend. And then last night we had our reseller meetup. Unknowingly, uh, we picked a restaurant that doesn't take reservations. It's, you know, you got to go to the door. So we got to the restaurant we had chosen early. Well, y'all, it was prom weekend here. And there was just no way we were going to be able to get in at any reasonable amount of time. So we picked another restaurant, um, which we were able to get seated in like 15 minutes. Um, but it, it was fun. We um, had like five of us. So it was a nice small group. And we were able just to chit chat um, and have a good time, eat some good food. So, all right, let's get to it. This was the weekend that I lowered my prices on Mercari by their recommended 10% and I sold five things. Yay, except I've only sold one thing since. Um, so I think it was just one of those moments where I think Mercari was trying to entice me to actually be more active in their group or in on their platform. No, nobody, nope, nope, I'm giving up. Hands in the air. Um, I'm going to focus on Poshmark and Etsy. I think I'm just going to go all in with Etsy and, you know, spend you know, 50 or or $100 and get a lot more of my high dollar vintage plush and stuff on there. Um, and hopefully it, that will get more sales on there for me. I don't have a whole lot on there. I didn't actually sell anything last weekend, but I have sold something since and I, I think the potential is there. I just like having more than just one or two platforms. Um, you know, I gave, I'm giving up on Mercari. I gave up on Bonanza a long time ago because they just kept sending me these warnings on uh, items that I had listed and had been listing on eBay with no issue. Um, I just kept getting warning after warning on there that I was posting things that were not appropriate. And it was like Hershey's Christmas ornaments or just ridiculous stuff like that. I saw somebody recently in a YouTube video say they were having the same issue. They were just getting like copyright warnings and stuff like that over and over and over again on Bonanza. So I, w I won't be going back to that one. And I'm just... I don't think I sell the types of stuff for some of these other platforms. So Etsy, Poshmark, and of course, eBay will always be my number one um, 
it's the one that I make the most money on, as you guys can tell. But, all right, so for Macari, this was, you can see, they've got the 10% the off. It's showing what the delivery was be going to be, but all I, I, I received the $12.60 on these, so that's a good thing. I think I've got one more thing that sold this week, um, and as soon as it uh, clears, I'm going to pull off my money out of there, you know, do the $2.00 fee and you know if I sell something on there you know maybe once a month I'll take the money out but I'm not going to put any more effort so I doubt I'll sell much more on there although I have several thousand listings which is sad but I sold this National Cherry Blossom Festival Rabbit for $12.60 and then this Whirly Industries Shoney Bear Pencil Case this was from the Hybrid Estate sale that we won several years ago and it sold up with an offer for nine dollars and 45 cents dimdaco giving bear plush again you can see you know, my prices went down 10 percent, and people are still sending me even lower offers but it was an old listing and like ebay i'm trying to just get rid of a lot of the older listings so that i have room for <laughs> All of the stuff I plan on purchasing this year. So this Dimdaco Giving Bear sold for $5.40. Bill Elliott Bear Plush sold for $5. But at least you know I'm making $5. And then this Disney Live Action Lion King Plush. They are 8 inches tall. Um, sold for $12.60. E no, Poshmark. One sell on Poshmark. It was this Tonka Hasbro 24-hour road service tow truck. It's one of the metal ones from 1999, and it sold for $24. And then eBay. If you're new to my channel, <laughs> this is my spiel at the beginning of every eBay. I don't do free shipping, so when I sold, say something sold for $20, the item, um, the buyer also paid shipping so this this is from a profit pile stuff y'all i found a box i think the problem with all of these profit pile things that i had was we would bring stuff in and when i had space on shelves i would put it you know tuck it into all these shelves but then i only focused on the stuff that kept accumulating on the floor and i found some really interesting stuff on my shelves that i had forgotten about that should have been listed um weren't overly old they just never got the attention because i was focusing on just keeping the floors as clear as i could um but this was a lefton santa claus and mrs claus sitting on a bench and it sold for a best offer of twenty dollars this is one of those things i had just listed it put a higher price on it but right now i'm of the mind i like the quick sales so if it's a little bit less than what i was hoping to make that's okay it's okay i'm quick sales get the money and save the space for other things that i'm going to be listing pharmaceutical rep stuff y'all this was also i brought a box in that what i hadn't gotten to that was from the high bit estate sale and a lot of it was um, like Happy Meal toys or fast food toys and stuff like this. This was a stress ball that was shaped like a heart and still in its original packaging, sold very quickly for $10. Vintage Tommy Strolling Bowling Ball Game. Um, unfortunately, the little ball stopped working before I could get it listed and it should have sold probably about double this price but the ball wasn't working so i just went ahead and lowered the price otherwise it um was complete and it sold very quickly for eight dollars and 96 cents embrace gorilla plush with a banana this is little five inch i find these quite often but a lot of times they're like 10 inches or 12 inches um, but this was a smaller one. I hadn't seen it before. And it sold for $15.25. When I went looking for it to pull, I was looking for a large plush. I hadn't noticed the 5-inch. 
And I just kept looking and looking and finally it was like tucked down in a corner because it was so small. So, you know, I've got to pay attention to the, the, the whole description. This is just one of those old listings, y'all. I'm sending out 25% offers on anything that was listed before last year. Plus my stuff is already on 10% sale. So I'm getting sales like this, but again, it's gone. It's just move on to other things. This was a Carter's Precious First Yellow Duck Levy, sold for $6.04. Fable Gorilla Plush. Pretty sure this was from a Ben's pickup um, from last year. It was listed in January, so it wasn't listed overly long from 1996, and it sold for $10.75. This is a viewer sale, so thank you so much, Janelle. Janelle saw this in my store, and it was a plush that she had had when she was a child, so she was thrilled to support my store, my channel, and pick up a piece of nostalgia for herself. This is a Dakin Dream Pets giraffe from 1979, and it sold for $8.05. Thanks again, Janelle. This sold very, very quickly. It was an international sale. It is a MacArthur Study Bible, New King James Version, and it sold for full asking price, $9.95. Animal Adventure Bumblebee Plush from 2005, sold for $22.91. Another old listing, so see ya. It was a microware anchor, ovenware, cooker, still sealed in its original box, sold for $17.51. Wild Republic Snowy Owl Plush, sold for $8.05. Spirit Horse Girl Figure, I think this was from a Ben's pickup also. I had to use Google Lens because, I, I mean, I knew the spirit horse. I didn't realize the girl went with it. And it sold for $22.45. This is a brand CMC Inc. Don't know it. Um, picked it up on its cuteness factor and the fact that it definitely was vintage. 1988. It was just a very cute, woolly lamb. Um, I got a, re a message from the buyer stating that, her daughter had had this toy when she was a baby and she was having a baby shower and wanted to gift her with another one just like it for her baby. So I thought I love when I get stories like that. And it sold for $19.76. Whiffy's Ice Cream Shop figure. Never heard of it. Had to use Google Lens. This was, again, stuff from my profit pile. Sold in about two months for $8.96. Fisher Price Little People Silo um, from 1990. That means it went to the Chunky Farm. Kind of, you guys can't see it. I've got a Chunky Farm up here on top of my shelf. And I want to say I paid 50 cents for it because I had to get the price off of the bottom. Um, I think it was an estate sale pickup and it sold for $13.45 and immediately so the same month I listed it all right this is another viewer sale thank you so much sherry with the two r's i have a sherry with one r sherry with two r's um sherry picked up this pet toy for eight dollars found a bag of vintage um patterns like children's dresses and stuff patterns I had picked it up at a church sale last year, um, paid $5 for the whole bag, listed probably 10 or 15 of the really nice patterns that were in there, and then I was stuck with all of these others. Um, so I forced myself to go through it, take all the pictures. I made some lots, some of them um, I sold individually like this. It The pattern maker was Sherry Williams, it was a lot of these just older dress patterns with like smocks and stuff. This one sold for $7.50 very quickly. Still selling this Buffalo China um, restaurant wear coffee and cup. 
coffee cup and saucer picked up a case of these I want to say it was 25 or more um, still a lot of it still in its sealed plastic inside of the boxes and slowly but surely I'm selling them I paid five dollars for all of them and this one sold for seven dollars and fifty nine cents Walmart lion plush 18 inch sold for eleven dollars and sixty six cents again another very old listing I think lions are going to be added to my list of uh, check before you pick them up all right sadly this sold but it's coming back to me um Dakin white dog Maltese plush from 1992 sold for $26.95 coming back because it's larger than she expected y'all well, it says 12 inch it has a picture of it on my little measuring mat showing it's 12 inches long um so this person's on my blockity block list that's just how I'm going to do it and <laughs> some of you may disagree but I've gotten to the point where I mean one day I had five things sell and five things canceled before I, sh I shipped it just annoying five in a day all right teenage mutant ninja turtles this is cave leo weapon um i'm still going through so many of these type smalls i've got another pile that i'm gonna i've tried google lens couldn't figure it out so i'm going to be making a grid and posting pictures on the action figure ID Facebook group for them to see if they can help me figure out what this stuff goes to an amazing amazing site um, but this single uh, club sold for $15 and 25 cents Mattel, Alvin and the Chipmunks, Simon and Brittany figure. Y'all, this has been listed since January. I probably got 10 offers of $10 and I wanted more. Brittany is a little bit harder to find. And finally, I got somebody who sent me a $14 offer, which I went ahead and accepted. Little Tykes Dollhouse Red Van. Um, this, this sat over in my pile over here of you know things that we've already made a video on but never made it to the listing side of my work area because it was dirty so I finally emptied everything out of that tote like my profit piles out here it was just sitting there so I took it upstairs got it cleaned up and listed and it sold in about a month for $15 Hallmark Festive Friends Christmas Ornament, again, been listed for a while, and it sold at my sale price of $9.86. I like picking up Christmas ornaments. I don't mind um, if they take a while to sell. You know, some people have collections that they don't realize they have a piece missing from it, um, but they don't take up a whole lot of space. And I have like these little sections inside of my building out there for storage where it's just little drawers and I put all of these small Christmas things in them. So sometimes they take a while, but I like picking up Christmas ornaments. Hanna-Barbera Scooby-Doo vinyl picture frame. I went to a yard sale and bought a bunch. She had her entire Scooby-Doo collection out there and I bought quite a bit of things there that day. Um, and this frame sold for $14. Fiesta Axolotl Salamander Plush. Took about a year to sell. Um, sold for $8.95, which is nice because what happened is I must have ended this to do sell similar, which I do every single month, every single listing. And before my sale started, it sold for the full asking price. All right, Richard Scary Busy Town Apple car figure. This I think came in like a Happy Meal or a cereal. I I don't remember at this point. But anytime I find these figures, I go ahead and pick them up and I list usually list them individually because they sell very quickly. 
Um, not for a whole lot, which is fine, but I mean, literally it sold within a few days of listing it. Um, this lowly apple sold for $6.79. Salad King vegetable cutter grater set paid um, $3 for this recently at an estate sale and just decided, again, it's one of those opportunities. I paid three, I got a $25 offer and I went ahead and accepted it. Um, the, we find these quite often. I think the Salad Master is really a good one to find. This one was just Salad King, a little bit different. Um, had some condition issues, which I did post pictures of, and it's, you know, sold for $25. I'm happy with that. Carter's Child of Mine Bear Plush Crib. Come to find out, this one was really um, hard to find. There were very few um, sold comps for it, and I don't think any were listed. And mine had its original paper tag. Um, listed it last month, and it sold for $45 offer. So, yay. All right, Mr. Coffee Teapot. I had bought a Mr. Coffee Tea thing at an estate sale, and it didn't work. And so I just decided to sell the parts. It took forever. Will I buy this type of stuff again? Probably not, um, but it sold $7.39 for the little tea basket and lids. I don't know where this came from because we didn't use this in the curriculum that we used. Um, so maybe it was in one of the things that Robert picked up last year. He bought a huge tote of homeschool curriculum, but I thought I had gone through all of that. Nevertheless, this is a really good um, program. We just chose a different one. It's called Teaching Textbooks. And this is the student book only. I think there's DVDs and stuff like that that go with it. Um, and it sold two months, $22. Jimmy, definitely pick a lot of them up. And I'm like 60, 40 that they actually work or don't have completely corroded battery areas. But this was an elf dog and he sold for $25. Hasbro Littlest Pet Shop, I guess sea creatures, sea animals, sold um, in about three months for $10. Again, make it gone. Kids Preferred Pink and White Dog Plush from 2005, sold for $11.66. Now, I think I had these two of these listed individually and found another one in a bins bag. So I thought I'm going to test making lots of these. Usually I sell them like six to eight dollars each. Um, went ahead and listed the three of these together. They're by Garanimals, which is a brand I really like picking up. And these sold in about three months for $17.95. Bin 10. Again, I found a baggie of these creatures. I think it was just set aside and forgotten. But this one was called Wild Vine from 2017. He was missing something. I don't quite remember what it was. But sold for $13.45. Aurora Orange and Gray Pig sold for $11.66. I pick up a lot of pigs. Kelly Toy Green Frog. Again, this was a very old listing. So I'm glad to see that it has... Moved on to another place, sold for $11.66. And then these are my last three, are my greatest sales for that weekend. Um, this one was a surprise. I've had several of these type surprises coming out of the profit piles, little teeny tiny pieces. Um, but this is a Kenner Star Wars cloud car from 1980. It is metal. It took less than a month to sell. Right now, when I run my sales, I'm not doing sales on anything that's listed $49 or higher. I just want to be able to, you know, check these listings a little bit more carefully um, because a lot of them, like this one, sell at their full asking price. So this one sold for $49.95. 
Lisa Frank. I think this was picked up at a school sale that we we posted video about it, I think. Um, but it was just kind of sitting off in the back. I didn't see it right away, but I caught caught it as I was walking in that direction. Um, this is the Playtime Purple Cat. He's the larger 19-inch long one. And he sold for $89.95. And y'all, this. Robert grabbed this at the Goodwill um, that I like to go to in Johnson City. And in the video, which I'm sure he's going to leave it in there, that I'm like, I don't like buying electronics. Why are you buying this? It was five, I want to say $5.99. And he was like, look at the comps. And he showed me the comps and I was, my jaw just dropped. And y'all, it sold within a day or two of listing it at the full asking price. This is an Omron fat loss monitor. Um, it was in excellent condition. The box was open. I don't list things even in like this as open box and never new. Um, I'll only list something new if it's like a sealed puzzle or it is new and I have to use new. You know, there's certain categories you have to use new. You can't sell it used. But for the most part, nope, I'm going to list it as used. And like I said in here, I tested it. It worked. I showed pictures of it working. $149.95. Nice, nice pickup. All right. Hope you guys enjoyed that. Definitely keep your eyes out for that fat loss monitor. Mm -mm -mm. Sometimes you just find amazing stuff like that. All right, y'all. I got to go work on another video and then I got to get some stuff processed today so that I can keep moving through this stuff. We've, we're making lots of videos right now because we're trying to get ahead because we're going on vacation at the end of next month. All right, get to work. Bye.